Welcome to QuickBooks Online Payroll. Here, you can pay your employees and have QuickBooks automatically pay and file your payroll taxes on your behalf. Let's go over where everything is in QuickBooks Online Payroll. Select the Payroll tab, then Overview. This is where you pay your team. If you just signed up for QuickBooks Online Payroll, you can use the list of tasks to set up payroll correctly. You can also get help from our setup guide or check out videos to help you start. After you've run payroll for the first time, this page shows shortcuts to commonly used functions like adding employees and editing payroll items. And you'll see the status of your automatic taxes and auto payroll as well as employee milestones. From the Employees tab, you see a list of employees you've added to QuickBooks and important facts about them, like pay rate and how you pay them. If you want more details, select an employee. If you hire a new employee, select Add an employee to set them up. This is also where you can invite employees to QuickBooks Workforce so they can add some of their personal info, as well as view their paychecks, T4s, and Relevé ones online. You can pay employees from this screen as well, and if you ever need to run payroll just for bonuses, use this option. Once you select an employee, QuickBooks Online Payroll also helps you choose a workers' comp plan and choose employee benefits like health insurance and retirement plans in the Deductions and Contributions section. Use the Compliance tab to read the latest news from federal and provincial agencies on taxes and other payroll rules. Select Taxes, then Payroll Tax. The Payroll Tax Center is where QuickBooks alerts you on anything that needs attention or is coming up in the future for tax payments and tax form filing. This is also where you can see and print federal forms, provincial forms, T4s, Relevé ones, as well as past payments. If you want QuickBooks to automatically pay and file your taxes and forms, go to the Payroll Overview page to see set up tasks you may still need to complete. If you use Payroll Premium or Elite, you can use the Time tab to see who's working and where, Enter Time, and Approve Employee Time. Select Reports and go to the Payroll section to run reports on payroll tax liabilities, total payroll cost, and more. To see your payroll preferences, select Settings and Payroll Settings. This is where you set up auto payroll, request an increase to direct deposit limits, map payroll expenses and deductions to accounts on your chart of accounts, and more. You can also use the Settings menu to change your subscriptions and billing info. If you want to grant your payroll administrators access to QuickBooks Payroll or need to update your payroll contacts, select Manage Users to add them. Check out another video to learn more about how to set up users. Now you're ready to start using QuickBooks to manage your payroll.